We begin tonight with troubling findings at our public parks. There's a stark contrast between several parks run by the city and then one that is not. While Mayor de Blasio likes to talk a lot about a tale of two cities, CBS2 found a tale of two park systems. Our political reporter, Marsha Kramer, reports on these park problems. At Washington Square Park today, we found the ground littered with discarded glassine envelopes that used to contain nickel bags of drugs and a bunch of people occupying the northwest corner of the park that residents say has become an open air drug den. I called 911 yesterday for somebody who was ODing, shaking. Uh, unconscious. The drug deals, the vagrants, the need to avoid that part of the park are what New Yorkers have to deal with when they take their kids to play on the swings or just seek a leafy, cool place to read a book. Everybody knows it from New York that the drugs are in a specific corner of the park, which is over there. And it's little better uptown at another city run facility, Madison Square Park, where we were stunned to see a man urinating on the sidewalk and a vagrant rummaging through the trash for his next meal. Compare that to Bryant Park with its vibrant activity centers, a putting green, a game center, a lending library, a carousel. <laughs> Bryant Park, you see, is run by a private corporation, managed that way through the efforts of a local business district that believes that a good park brings business. All these things bring knots of people into the park who discourage bad guys from taking over those areas. Things so bad at Washington Square Park that the NYPD was forced to send in a special squad of cops today following reports that the drug dealing had gotten out of hand. At Bryan Park, there's no horsing around when it comes to security. Bryan Park has its own private security force walking the paths 24 7. Meanwhile, it was interesting to watch what happened when the NYPD did arrive at Washington Square Park today. These alleged drug dealers fled. And while the moms with their kids were happy, others were not. Keith Lindsay told me he is a, quote, retired drug dealer. For what reason are they coming here messing with people? I like to tell you, you got two women and you got raped the other day and they're here messing with people on small time drug dealers. They got to be out of their minds. The people reportedly selling their drugs say they'll return once the heat is off. In Washington Square Park, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. The NYPD reported that during the first three months of this year, Washington Square Park and Bryant Park each had two arrests for grand larceny. The NYPD made no drug arrests in Washington Square Park during that same time.